Hey guys, what's up? I'm Sierra and welcome back to my channel. So today I am making a really exciting video. It's one of my favorite kinds of things to make, which is home improvement. I am such a sucker for like decorating and creating new things and being resourceful also and making something new out of something you already have and kind of scraping it together on a budget. So today I'm gonna to be turning this closet behind me into a home office slash recording studio and it's pretty small, so let's check it out. And if you're not subscribed already, please go ahead and click that subscribe button down below and turn on the gray bell for notifications so you always know when I put out a new video every Sunday. And without further ado, let's get creative. So the closet is actually a decent size um, in length as far as well as in depth, it's about five and a half feet. Um, if you go count like a little bit underneath the door, it's about six feet almost. Um, and then width wise, it's 31 inches. So like two and a half feet. That's not huge, especially when you're trying to put like a desk workspace and a chair in there. And also I'm not just making this a home office space. I'm also turning it into my new podcast recording studio. So eventually I want to put like soundproofing panels, foam up on the walls and stuff. And the reason I'm doing this is because if you don't know, if you haven't been following my channel or my socials, um, my best friend Christy Vetter and I, she's also a YouTuber, so go check her out. We're starting a podcast together and it's called Fingers Crossed and it's available wherever podcasts are streamed, so go check it out. But because I live in a one bedroom apartment in a building that is in a pretty like urban populated area, sometimes it gets really noisy. Also pr previously I had been recording in our bedroom because we don't have any rooms other than like our living room, dining room, our bedroom, bathroom. We don't like have any bonus rooms or anything. Um, my boyfriend's workspace is actually in the living room. So he has his office like at home workstation right here in the living room where he works, but that's just kind of right in the middle of our living room. Like, sorry, this is all the stuff I'm preparing for today, so um, ignore the mess. But previously, I had been doing all my recording in our bedroom because I have a vanity that I use for like doing my makeup and whatever in our bedroom, and I had been using that. But I'm tired of having to pack up my makeup, put all that stuff away, set up my microphone, my computer, my my uh, headphones, ear earphones, like all of my supplies, my notebooks, everything I'm using. I don't like having to pack it up, put it away, take out the makeup. I wanted to have a space designated to working and I could also use it for, you know, if I want to do stuff on my laptop or just do regular work that's kind of like my own home office space. So, but it needed to be a closed room and we just don't have one. So again, uh, thankfully, we have a lot of storage in other parts of the apartment as well as storage in um, our storage unit outside of the apartment, which came with it, which is such a godsend. Um, so we don't need it really for storage. So we're going to clear it out, repurpose it, move stuff around. So let's go. So I ordered a couple of things on Amazon for this and then I got some stuff at my local bed, bath, and beyond. I wanted to go to Ikea, but it was an absolute disaster. The wait line was like 100 people deep, so here we are. Um, okay, so I got in here. This is gonna be my new desk lamp. I wanted to get one that was super compact, but also bright, and it had a USB charging port because space is at a premium, or will be at a premium. And then right here, this is my new shoe rack organizer, not for shoes, but for other things. And here you have one incomplete shoe rack. So I'm gonna go ahead and build that and show you my plan for it. green hey kitty <gasps> yes you're so beautiful you like your box there she is what a stunning shoe holder we're not using it for shoes but we're gonna use it for storage <sighs> alrighty so I measured the dimensions of this all right yep it's perfect so that is gonna go back there like that so whole first part from like here over it's gonna be the studio the, the office, but behind this curtain, I'm gonna put up a curtain here. That's 
still going to be a closet. So this is all going to stay a closet because we need the space, but kind of cutting a room that's uh, two and a half feet by five and a half feet in half. All right, so next I'm gonna put up one of the curtains. Uh, when I was at Bed Bath & Beyond yesterday, I bought two different curtain rods. They're both tension rods, which means you don't need to install anything. They're just low quality. Um, probably gonna fall down at some point. Uh, suction tension things, so they just kind of push up against the wall. I got one in this size and one in this size, because I didn't know which I was gonna need. And as I was testing it out last night, turns out that I need both of them, so I'm really glad that I bought two, and I'm gonna use the lighter quality one for the gauze curtain, and the heavier quality one for the thick black sound curtains. Before I put up the curtain, I forgot all that junk stuff I pulled out. I wanna try and put as much of it as I can back on the new shoe rack. Beyond. It wasn't my first choice of rug because I don't know, I, I can't decide if it's cute or really ugly, um, but when you're trying to have a sound booth or sound recording, uh, they recommend a high pile rug, which means like the actual rug itself is long and thick versus like the really short ones. They said it absorbs more sound. So it's uh, 30 by 42 and it was like $35, which for a rug is fine. I'm not, you know, there's rugs that are a lot more. So it's actually the exact width of the space. Okay, so this rug, in my opinion, is perfect for the space. Because again, this was 30 inches wide, or 31 is my space I have. So I have about a half inch on either side, but you really can't even tell. It almost just looks like it's carpeted because it's only 42 inches. It does not extend into the makeshift closet part, but because of this curtain hanging down, it kind of hides the fact, I mean, I need to lower on that side a little. It hides the fact that the carpet doesn't go all the way over. So I think I honestly found the perfect rug for the perfect price for the perfect space. So, and it's really soft, which is great. So next, I'm gonna be putting together my console table, um, which I got from Amazon. It was like $60. Um, I couldn't find a desk. There is no desk out there that will work for this amount of space I'm working with. It doesn't exist. I needed something that was long, but really insanely narrow. Um, and no desk is like 11 inches wide. Now, for a picture, that's like on my Mac book is nine inches. And to this desk or this console table, it's 11 and a half. So it's like my Mac book and two and a half inches as far as how far it's gonna come away from the wall. So what I won't have in depth though, I will have in length because it's 41 inches long. So I'm gonna put that together now. Here's gonna be my desktop. So again, for a desk, that's not very wide, but it's at least kind of long. So I don't know, I'm hoping for the best. This chair is one that I've had for like six years. I had it all through college. It was literally like $10 at Ikea and it's still kicking. So eventually I wanna get a nicer chair, but for now, I got this nice back pillow for myself. It's really cushy. Um, I got it at Bed Bath & Beyond yesterday. It was on sale for like $12. Yeah, it's definitely tight. Not a lot of room to walk behind, but you know what? You can always just, you know, if you push in the chair all the way and, you know, sl slink back there to get your stuff out of the closet, it works, and again, I'm not, it's not stuff that I need frequently, it's more just stuff you need occasionally. So, especially because we're in the summer and don't need jackets. This might be different in the winter when we get jackets more frequently, so uh, we'll see. So there's no outlet in this closet, but thankfully there is an outlet literally right outside the door. That's super helpful. So, and we tested this out, the power strip, the door does shut. So I snuck the power strip in there and that is going to sit right at the bottom of the desk. 
lamp looks good. I really like how small and sleek this is. And it does have a USB port here so I could charge my phone. Just tap this, it has one, two, three settings. Tap, 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 easy. Plug it down here. All right, I'm gonna interrupt this vlog to give you a little mini Target haul because I just stopped to run a Target to get one thing and I came back with seven things because can you go into Target just wanting to buy one thing and leave with one thing? I've never done it. So let me know if you have because I think it's impossible. Here's what we got from the Target haul. A utility cup. I'm gonna magnet this onto my new dry erase board to put pens and dry erase markers. My mini dry erase markers. I wanted to have them in multiple colors for color coding weeks and agendas. Thought that would be helpful. Also, they were cute. Um, this was $13. Did I need this? I absolutely did not need this, but yet I bought it anyway. It's like a little calendar flippy thing. I may end up deciding there's not enough room in there for it and put it like on my desk in my bedroom or on the vanity, but I just thought it was so cute and it matched the colors and you can like play with it if you're like needing to fidget. Anyway, I thought I liked it a lot. And then we have my dry erase board. This is our third one we have like this. We have one in our bathroom, we have one in our bedroom, and we have one over Jason's desk. So this is actually our fourth. This is our fourth of this exact kind by U Brands. I love this because it has a slight marble print to it, which I really like. Um, and it has the gold trim, which I think classies it up a bit. And then I also got myself, not featured in this bag, is the box of LaCroix and the wine bottle that I already put in the fridge, um, is this calendar. It's by Blue Sky and it's just like a paper wall calendar. Um, but I didn't need one that had like pictures or of cute animals or anything, because again, space is at a premium, but I wanted something where I could write out the dry erase board is gonna be more for the upcoming week and then I wanted something where I could write out things for the uh, upcoming month. So I'm gonna put that up on the wall as well and I'm so excited. So it's almost seven o'clock. I've been doing this pretty much all day with a few little breaks to make a salad, but I have finished decorating it. I just put up all my nails and I'm ready to show you guys the final product and I am so excited. And this is how you make a home office out of a closet. Here it is in all of its glory. I am so happy with it. I can stand inside and it's again about two and a half feet from end to end. Um, but it's really all the space I need. I'm able to sit in my chair and have it all the way back against the wall and sit upright comfortably. And my knees don't hit the back wall because I have really short legs. So that per part works out very well in my favor. Um, and there's just enough space. I was able to put this here and I just love it. I, it was like, again, $13. I did not need to buy it, but it's so cute. So here's it with just the overhead light. There's just like one big bulb light up there. I rearranged these and hung this one way up higher because I realized that I only left myself enough space to use it with the laptop closed and that doesn't help me. So I need to be able to sit here with the laptop open and be able to write in this. And this lamp is great. I turned it sideways because I had it at an angle which looked a little cuter, but this way it takes up such a narrow amount of space. Honestly, you could fit back here if you're playing hide and seek and we still have room to store more stuff, which I love. So it's always nice when you didn't like hit capacity with your storage so it's not going to be the easiest thing in the world to get stuff out of here but um Jason and I have concluded that when winter comes and we need to keep uh one or two coats more accessible uh we can just move these purses and hats and use our back of door storage here and hang them here um and these curtains again are for sound so I can, or for privacy, if I don't want to have, if I want to be able to keep this door open um, and I don't need it soundproofed, like for podcast stuff, I'm just working in there, uh, then I can shut these curtains for privacy or just have them open just a little bit. And I love it. Well, I guess you can call me Mr. Toad because that was one wild ride. And I'm honestly blown away. I did not think it was going to turn out that well. Um, granted, I haven't actually worked in it yet. So I'll update you guys next week on how it actually works to work in a, sp a space that small. My one main concern is not that I'm going to feel claustrophobic because I can always open the door, but more that it's going to get hot because in my apartment, we don't have central air. Um, it would be perfect if there was an air vent in there, but there isn't. We have one unit in our living room and one unit in our bedroom. So I might have to get like one of those little tiny like desk fans that you sit on the desk so I can like get some airflow going. Um, I'm probably going to go ahead and order that on Amazon 
as soon as I wrap up this vlog. This kind of project, I definitely don't think that if you have a big house or you have like a five bedroom apartment, I don't know, that you need to make a workspace or a home office out of your closet. But as someone who lives in a one bedroom apartment that I share with one other person, finding your own space is really hard to do. And again, I wanted to make a podcast studio for my new podcast with Christy. Again, go follow us on Instagram at fingers crossed pod. I wanted to have my own space to record the podcast that can be a little bit away from the windows because in our bedroom, we have neighbors right nearby and windows right there. We have windows all around our living room. So it's the one space in the house that doesn't have a window. So I'm really hoping it's gonna work out well. And thanks so much for watching this video and maybe it'll inspire you if you live in a really small space to make your own home office. Because a lot of us are working from home right now because of the pandemic. If so, let me know in the comments if you have any tips or tricks for working in a small space uh, for anything like spatial organizing or for the fan AC situation or just any tips in general. If you've ever made your own podcast studio recording booth, let me know down in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye!